welcome to today's tutorial so today we're going to be answering question two from tutorial sheet one so if you want to find this question or the solution for this question or any other question in your i mean from my youtube channel you just go on youtube and simply just type this uh what i've written here you write ash and then you type ts1 meaning store sheet one q2 meaning question two and uh, you put cpu at the end so when you type store sheet one question two cpu it will just take you directly to to just bring you directly to the solution for this question yeah and then yeah that's how he that, that's how easy you can find these solutions on my channel so let's quickly begin to answer the question so here if, if you are you want question three you put question three if you want question four you put question four you put, you put q4 yes so this is the only part that will be changing when we move to tutorial sheet two even this one here will change to two so it will be ts2 q1 or q2 or q3 and then you put cbu at the end so the question says describe each of the following in set builder notation then we have the first question there which says a is equal to that so we have to describe this in set builder notation and how do you do that so you first need to understand the format of set builder notation so how do you now describe this in set builder notation so this is straightforward when you look at these numbers these are these are all perfect squares so meaning you are going to have something like this you're going to say x is such that so when you're describing uh, sets in set builder notations you simply you are not just limited to one solution you can use a lot of ways but you still come back to the same answer yeah you can use a lot of methods there are a lot of methods there are a lot of ways you can write this but the answer as long as the output you are getting is just the same and you've used correct mathematical language there you still be marked so x is such that x um we can say x is such that x um you can either say x is equal to x i uh, mean k squared let me just put it this way i think it will be easier x is equal to k squared and then where k so this comma means where if you don't want to write this comma you can just write the word in full where k is equal to you write the numbers there you can put one one squared you get one then you also have two two squared you get four you have three three squared you get nine you have four squared you get 16 which is that then you have five squared you get uh, 25 so you know writing a lot of numbers is a little is a little bit um uh, tiresome when i'm using this laptop so let me just uh quickly take you to the solutions which i've already answered i will just explain them so solutions there this is what i just wrote here so you can say you can see to say x is such that x is equal to k squared so when you and then we say where so this way i said you can either write a comma or just the word in full where um where k is equal to one two three four five so meaning when you square these values of k you get this as your output there we quickly move on to the next question which is b b saying b is equal to uh, negative 7 negative 5 negative 3 negative 1 so i don't know how you can write this yourself in words but uh, yeah let me just say something on this one i said there are a lot of ways you can write this so if you want instead of writing 1 2 3 4 5 you can just say k is equal to um, natural numbers less than uh, six natural numbers less than six when you say k is a member of natural numbers less than six instead of writing one two three four five you still be marked correct so that's why i would say you can use a lot of ways you still come back to the same solution 
So same applies to this. It has a lot of ways in which you can write it. And the simplest way I found myself was this one. This one here, that's the easiest. You say x is such that x is equal to 1 minus 2k. So when you put, um, and then where k is just this same set of numbers. Try to put 1 where there's k there. You are going to have 1 minus 2, you get negative 1, which is there. And then when you put uh, 2 there, uh, you have uh, this would be negative 4 and 1 you get negative 3 which is that when you put 3 there got, you are going to have negative 5 which is that when you put 4 there you are going to have negative 7 which is just that so this is how simple these things are you can solve the other questions uh, for C that's the solution there you can see to say these are just uh, even numbers less than uh, 17 you can either say um x is such that x is a set of uh even numbers or x is a member of even even numbers less than um less than or you say between zero and 17 you still be marked correct or if you want you can just say x is equal to 2k where k is just this one two three four five six seven eight so you still be marked correct there, there are a lot of ways in which you can write these uh, expressions. And then the last one here is this one. And then the last one is this one. Yes, D. So D is 1, 2, 4, 8, uh, 16, 32. So when you look at this, this is a sequence. Yeah, you say 1 plus 1, you get 2. 2 plus 2, you get 4. 4 plus 4, 8, 16, 32. So... Uh, for a sequence, if you've discovered to say what is happening here is a sequence, you can use uh, what we call APs and GPs. You can use APs and GPs. You are going to do that. I'm pretty sure maybe you've not yet done that, but you're going to do that. And when you do that, it will be easier for you to solve such questions. But if you've not yet learned that, you just have to use what we call logic, common sense or you use what we call inspection in mathematics you st you start inspecting the numbers see which formula is going to be better uh, which is going to fit uh, that or if if there's another way in which you can describe this in words you can simply uh, use that way uh, provided it's mathematically correct yeah so you can see this x is such that x is equal to 2 raised to power k minus 1 where k is equal to uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 try to put uh, these numbers there while this k you discover that you are going to get this as your answer so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial please make sure that you don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out the videos that i'm going to be posting yeah and then don't forget i'm creating a group where i'll be posting the solutions for the tutorial videos but for these that i've made question one question two and question three i'm going to uh, post them in that same main group but there is a group that i'm going to form on telegram where i'm going to be posting all the solutions for the tutorial sheets so starting from today i've started and then every day i'll be making sure that at least i finish one tutorial sheet if I fail, at least I'll, I'll go halfway or more than half of the tutorial sheet. Yeah. So thank you very much for watching today's tutorial. Kindly subscribe to the channel for more videos. Shalom.